Hello! Welcome to my channel. Sometimes we do quick crafts here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this altar cloth for my Hera altar. We also have the helper today. This is Argo. He's visiting for a little bit. Say hello. He's a good boy. So Hera is the goddess of family, among other things, but I have an altar for her in our living room, and I just feel like it adds a nice little bit of warmth to the home. This video is not sponsored by Monster. So the first thing I did was measure the space I'm trying to fill, and then I took that measurement and drew it out in chalk on the fabric itself. That way the seam allowance kind of keeps it from overhanging the surface and getting in the way of people walking by because this altar is gonna be kind of in like a high foot traffic area of our house. After I cut the fabric, I used an iron to press out the seams. My iron was $6, so I have to mist the fabric with a spray bottle to get a good press. We're budget conscious here when we can be on this channel. The fabric I'm using is a more matte satin, so I used a medium heat setting, but irons vary. I pressed all the creases out, and then I pressed the hem edge on all four sides before I start sewing it. I'm trying to be time conscious about making this so I don't really press like the entire thing after the first turn of the raw edge. I just tuck that raw edge under and hold it in place as I sew. If you happen to be watching this with no understanding of a sewing machine, you want to lock the beginning and the end of a stitch by doing it in reverse a few times. I just flip the switch on my machine for a couple of stitches before going forward with the seam or hem. Once the edges are done, it's time to do the design. I used an embroidery hoop to hold the cloth still, and then I sketched my design on with chalk. Kira is typically associated with peacocks, so the design on the altar cloth is going to be a peacock feather. I actually messed up the first design, I had to wipe it off and try again. Oops. Here's the actual design. Next, I pick something to watch or listen to and get comfy. This is the easiest thing. You just do a running stitch all the way through the design and then do a running stitch again in the opposite direction, tracing like the chalk that you drew on the fabric with. When I get to the end of a piece of thread, I make sure to tie it off into a couple of little knots to keep it in place. These altar cloths are hand wash only, obviously, especially because the embroidery floss that I'm using for this is kind of fragile. And once I re-thread the needle, I keep going. When I'm done with the design, I like to lay it out to be cleansed before I actually set up the altar. I'm repurposing this little table from like a miscellaneous items table into an altar. Once I put the altar cloth on it, I put my selenite wand with it to help cleanse the energy. And then after a couple of hours, I go back and actually set up the altar. My dad gave me this giant picture of my parents for Christmas last year, so I thought this seemed like a nice place to put it.
and there it is, the finished altar. I really want to get an actual statue of Hera, but that's something I don't have the budget for at the moment. One day though, one day. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video, but even if you didn't, I appreciate you giving me the chance. If you did enjoy, I'd love if you'd be willing to leave me a like, a comment, subscribe, or even share my stuff. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely day.